Right, good morning again ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a mix sort of uh, what's on the bench and I've just gone past 500 subscribers so what I'm going to do, as I did promise in early videos, because nobody claimed the price of 250, I will do a double giveaway. So let me just remind you of uh, the kits that I'm giving away. For the, uh, I had this one last time and nobody claimed it. It's the uh, Chinese run 20mm Type 89 anti tank gun from Trumpeter. So it's quite nice. It's all in sealed bags, everything's sealed. You know, everything's in there. So there's that one. And we have an Academy M1255mm gun carriage. Same again. It's never been opened. Everything's in there. All never been opened. Nothing at all in there. So that's the two kids. I say I'd just like to say thank you, thank you so much for uh, subscribing to my channel. I say I didn't really didn't think I'd get to the sort of stage of um, 500, well 504 or 505 now, whichever it is. Can't believe it. The uh, from 250 to this two to 500 is just sort of whew, escalated, so I must be going in the right direction. Yeah, so basically what I want you to do, if you, if you want to enter the uh, the 500 uh, subscribers giveaway, is just leave a comment and just say yes, I'd like to enter the uh, the giveaway, and then we'll do it in about a week's time, week and a half perhaps. I'll do the uh, giveaway with the random number generator, and we'll go from there. So that's a big, big thank you once again. As you say, it's, I'm quite honoured that I've got that many subscribers. Um, so I'll just do a quick sort of review of where I've been. I say I haven't been at the bench for over a week to ten days. I've had, uh, I've had my son staying with his girlfriend, so we've spent a lot of time with them. And my wife isn't particularly well at the moment, so I'm having to sort of look after her at the moment again. She's not too bad, but she's still not quite 100 percent yet. So. Um, I've actually got to the bench first time I say for a long time, and I'm, uh, I've had to reintroduce myself to it. So yeah, it's, it's, it seems a long time since I've uh, actually sat here. So I'll say I'll just do a little bit of a, a review of where we are with the uh, the Stalingrad uh, build. So I've just done some little bits and pieces. So this is just the you know the usual sort of crates, and then uh, PVA water, and obviously then I'm going to paint it and trim all the edges off and things like that. Uh, and I made these wooden crates out of lolly sticks so I'll show you one that I've made, it's going to go on the T34 so everybody knows how to do that but um, let me just can I so I've just made these little boxes out of the uh, stirrers, you know the little stirrers and a bit of balsa wood and things like that just needs finishing off, just needs a bit more weathering onto it but yeah I'm going to start using them, making a few of those again, so it saves a bit of money and a bit of time you know so you can quite see that better in my, in my hand there, let's have a look there you go, so it just wants a bit more weathering into it, the colour's quite nice but obviously when I uh, place it onto a T34 it'll have to match the uh, the weather that's going on there, so that's for the T34 that one Obviously I've been doing my own tarps for a long time, which is the uh, baby wipes or you know the clean the wipes that you can buy. Just made some straps out of um, some of your tape and some of that's just foiled for little brass, you know, for the fastenings and I just tap a bit of uh, the metal metalizer, sort of the metalizer, the um, The tube stuff that uh, Simon Kemp, let me think of it here, let me can never remember the name of it. Never remember the name of it. It's the, uh, I'll just use that, the true metal, which is, this one's the brass. It's like really good, it'll go such a long way. I'll be using those on the tracks as well when I get around to the uh, T34 track bit. I know on the tracks, on the railway tracks, I should say. Yeah, so yeah, I've made those, and same again with a little bit of. Uh, ones on here is again everybody knows how to do these sort of things just thought I'd show you them as I've gone along 
and for the diorama as well I sent off for this little it's a tool it's a it's like a workbench uh, like a lathe or whatever it is or a, a drill it's to go into the back of the uh, the diorama for the factory as you can see obviously it's the first time I've had out the bag so everything's there I hope so it's all the resin just wants to take off all the blocks but it builds up into a uh, like a drill hand drill one of these drills that you put them down so just to uh, I'll have to look at the diagram to see if it goes together in the uh, <laughs> on the picture. It should be fairly straightforward. So yeah, so that's I'll just bring them there a bit. So I'm going to send these off, I think, to uh, to Les, who Les his models. Who does he's starting to do all these castings and things like that? So I'm going to send this off to him. We can make a few castings of this, and I'm probably going to get another one in the future. Another one. I might just get another one for the uh, for the factory as well. So they look quite nice, I say when they're all cleaned up and that, but I say I'll send these off to Les with some other things which I did say I was going to send off last week, but I say I was absolutely busy, I never got to do much at all, apart from, you know, family stuff. But uh, yeah, so I say I'll send them off, you can make a few moulds of those yourself, and maybe pass them around uh, a couple of his friends and things, whatever, so, yeah, but I'm going to do, I'm going to buy another one, I'm going to buy the, the, uh, the table I think, or the lathe. Obviously, it represents a factory, the uh, Stalingrad build that I'm building. So, let's pop them back in there. As far as, uh, as, far as the T34 is concerned, I've already done since last time, but I've dull coated it, and that's all I've done with it. And I've added a few that I've added a few bits and pieces. So, let's, let's just bring it. Let's just bring it. In. Bring it in. Okay, it's still got the nice colour modulation with it. I'm going to use this Russian flag here, I'm going to crinkle it and whatever and make it under. I'll just put it there so I know where it's at. Um, painted these and I found a, a periscope. Because obviously this is for the driver, commander sorry. He didn't have a periscope on this side but obviously on the other side he has the view out. So I thought I'd better put one there just to uh, make it a bit more authentic. Because uh, obviously the, the crewman's going to be sitting, standing outside his tank. Uh, and as far as I actually did, let me just take this off because it isn't fastened on. And I did the machine. That's just not my thing there, it's no problem. And as far as the machine gun goes, I've. I can't quite see that, can we? Let me just move this out of the way. Let me see if I can bring the light back into it. Okay. I didn't quite see it there. I've exchanged the machine gun. I've got, got some brass rods or brass piping off uh, Joe, Joe's model kit sent me ages ago. Ideal for machine guns and things like that. So I snipped off the old one. I just super glued that one on there. Obviously it needs painting. But it just makes it a bit more, you know, believable. And I say I showed you the hatches and things like that. I made the hatch hook or handle to pull down. Because yeah, I'm going to have the driver in there. Um, I think that's all about really I've done on there. So I've stuck the uh, Pioneer, some of the Pioneer tools on because obviously it's going to have to be weathered on top of those. And I did the shovel on that side as well. So, so the next stage of this obviously is the weathering which I'm going to have to start doing eventually. So I'll catch up with a few things that I've uh, obviously not done in the week. But on the, as far as the, let's just pop that back up. I'm going to have to do the same. I think I've got one small enough to do the machine gun on the, uh, wrong way around, on the, uh, on the turret, the coaxial machine gun as well. So I'm going to just check out, that's one of the first things I'll probably do when I've done this video. So, I see that's, and obviously you've seen with all the decals and things like that. Nice cast texture on there. The highlights quite nice. Your camera might just pick them up. Quite up, quite uh, pleased with that. Obviously a little bit of detail on the inside, but you're not going to see that bit. You're only going to see the uh, inside there really where the commander's going to stand really. So so that's about it on, the, on that side. And I've sprayed... Spread before I went away. 
and I went to see when I went up to Scotland on holiday. I painted all this red and all this grey. Just ignore that's just my earphones. That's all being sprayed grey with the uh, just with the AK I showed you on the video just the AK stuff. So it's stuck to it quite well. So what I was thinking of doing is I bought this uh, German red brown. I'm gonna try this on the brickwork. It comes it usually sprays straight from the bottle if it does because it with the uh, the Russian the Russian green. So I shall try that for all the brickwork. I'll do a test piece on on one of these first, I think, just to be on the safe side, let it dry and then a bit of give a bit of uh, pigments and weathering and we'll see if it looks before I uh, do the rest of it. So I'm going to start doing that today again, I'll probably do that uh, as well as the machine gun and just gradually start uh, doing things again with this to catch up. So that's that. I think that's about it really, I don't think there's any anything else that I've got to catch up with I say. I say everything is just, they say the 500 subscri subscribers just blew me away, just didn't think I'd get anywhere near that. So I've only been doing it roughly a year and a half, so I'm quite pleased with that, a year and a half. And, uh, you know, a certain person who knows you who sort of introduced me to this, because I say I didn't really want to do it in the first place, but uh, I enjoy doing it now. I enjoy showing people sort of how I do things, which is probably just the same as most, most of yourselves. Um, I have a couple of kit reviews to do. I have a Panther kit, uh, sorry, Panther, the Leopard, the old to me Leopard to do, and I also have the, uh, the US T29 E1 Heavy Tank to do a kit review on as well. I got that one on, uh, on eBay. I got it for £22, I think it was. A bargain that was free postage as well. It's quite a large importing tank when I look in the box. So that will be on the way sometime either today or tomorrow. Um, so I think that's about it. So, uh, once again, thank you very, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for you know, subscribing to my channel. Uh, and like I say, the two kits, there will be uh, auction, well, auction, the winners of the kits. I'll do a random number generator, so it's all fair and above board, and we'll go from there. So I think this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very, very soon with the next update on the, uh, the Stalingrad build. So this is Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very, very soon.